Hello friends! Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we are going to be sorting items. When we sort items, we take items that are similar or alike and we put them together. I have a lot of food items here and I want to show you why I have them. Our school has been collecting items for our local food bank. I'm so proud of our students for thinking about the community and for wanting to share. We're going to take some time to sort some of this food today. Have you ever noticed that when you've gone to the grocery store, there are different sections? There's a section for fruit and vegetables, and there's a bakery section, and a section for things that are frozen, and a section for things that come in cans or boxes. Well, let's take some time today to sort our items and set up a little store. I've set, moved some items over here and they're not very organized. I'm gonna take a couple minutes to sort them. When we sort items, we put together items that are the same. Watch me as I put together some of the items that are alike. I'm going to put the bar, the, I'm going to put the snacks together and there's some spaghetti. These are all alike. Put the tuna together. There's one, two, three. Oh, there's another can of tuna. Put those all together. It's a can of soup and another can of soup. Here's two more cans of soup as well. Oh, here's two packages of jam or jars of jam. I have all of the tomatoes together and the tomato soup right next to it. Then I have some other soup. I'm gonna put the two cans of green beans together and the corn together. I have two jars of jam. All of my pasta can go together. And then I have my two containers of snacks. This is a lot more organized. When we sort items, we put items that are alike together. Class, thank you so very much for sorting with me today and for setting up a store. This is something that you could do as well. You could sort items in your pantry. Maybe you could help organize your cupboards. You might even find some things that you don't need that you can give away as well. You could also sort through your toys in your toy box or maybe your books on your shelf. You might find some of those items that you don't need anymore either and maybe you could give those away as well. There's so many things that we can sort and organize and I hope that you have fun sorting and organizing today. Have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.